Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson. Here it is, the moment you've been waiting for, unboxing of Xbox One. Let's see what's in the box. So this is what it looks like, it's gorgeous. Turn it around here, you can see everything that's in the box. Nah, I'm not gonna show you there. We're gonna break into this bad boy right now. First thing you notice right up top is we have the Kinect sensor. Here's this uh, beautiful little sensor. I'm gonna pop that down here. Mm. Let's see that right there. Talk about each one of these items in a minute. Next up we have, of course, headset. Ooh, it's gonna be beautiful. Following that, the controller itself. Put that here. Next up we have a 4K rated HDMI cable. Some paperwork, including the manual. Little Xbox One sticker. Over here we have the, uh, the power cord. Here's the power brick. And then underneath we have the beautiful console all wrapped up, waiting for you to take a look at it. Are you ready? Take a look at this. All right, I have everything laid out here on the table. Let's go through each item one by one. First up, we have some paperwork here, including your owner's manual, as well as a little sticker. And if you were lucky enough to get your hands on a day one edition, this is where you'll find your code for your digital exclusive. Now over here, we have the Xbox One console, liquid black, beautiful. You can see right on the front here, it's a slot loading Blu-ray drive. Let me spin it around on the side here. Uh, you can see you've got a super speed USB 3.0 port as well as a uh, binding button to get your controller set up. And then on the back, we have the ports. From left to right, we have the power port. We have the HDMI output to your television followed by the SPDIF or optical audio out. Then we have HDMI in, which is uh, from your satellite or cable box. Next to that, we have two USB 3 super speed ports. Next to that is Connect. Now Connect is an IR blaster, so you can use that, or if your system requires it, you can use an IR out port, and that's this guy right here. Next to that is a gigabit ethernet port, followed by a Kensington security lock. And inside we have a 500 gigabyte hard drive, an eight core x86 processor and wireless networking connectivity all on board. Next up, we have an HDMI cable. Now this is a 4K capable HDMI cable that we're including in the box. Also, we have, of course, the power supply. Next, we have the Xbox One controller with over 40 improvements. We have a newly designed D-pad. We have impulse triggers on the back here, which are gonna change the way you game. And then of course you can see this is the special day one edition which has a little logo there and a Chrome D-pad, hot. Next, we have the Kinect sensor, which has improved gesture and voice control, a greater field of view, so it will work in almost any room and 1080p video for Skype. And both the day one and standard editions of the console include this mono chat headset, improved comfort, inline audio controls, and improved audio quality for in-game chat. One more thing I haven't shown you, the on-off switch. We've done something pretty cool here. I'll see you Gamescom. Let's go ahead and open up this box to see how it looks inside. And I gotta say though, I like the special packaging just for the shipment box. Hopefully, if you buy it online from Microsoft, you get that kind of packaging. It's really nice. So this is it, nice and clean. Power your dreams. It's a nice nifty system and we're gonna take that set it aside we've got uh, some uh, material down there showing you you know how to put in the batteries in your console turn it on uh the ports and also how to actually set it up with the app the top flap there we do have hdmi 2.1 cables really important to get the all those features that are built into the xbox series x your power plug because the power supply is built into the console again which is great glad we are away from those days and the brand new controller so okay let's let's take a closer look at that controller and see how well it looks so we've got the controller here actually we've got double a batteries i know some people don't like that but i'm glad they always in include it uh we've got the controller next to the other controller similar style of course uh but some interesting changes and yep usb type c charging so that's actually i mean connectors that's actually pretty cool of course your sync button as well um so all right let's see what else we have here but you know what forget that let's go ahead and open up our xbox series x so pull that sleeve aside set it just throw it away we, we don't we want to see the console this is nice nice 
wrapping. I'm glad the consoles are coming to look refreshed. And there it is. Woohoo! Yes! Series X. So you've got that big fan there to basically blow out all the hot air uh, in the system. Uh, you've got feet on the side right here, which means you can lay it flat, which is pretty cool. You've got your Blu-ray drive here and the eject button, USB port, sync button, and of course the Xbox button. You're going to notice, I apologize for that, you're going to notice that this is a fingerprint magnet, oh, by the way. Um, and you've got vents all over the place, vents at the bottom. We do have power plug. We've got Ethernet right there, two USB type C's, and of course the storage expansion slot, which I can't wait to go ahead and play with. Uh, this is, this is just, I'm, look, I'm excited and just ready to put the system on. And then of course, you also have the stand. So when you're placing it down, you can actually place this down on a surface.